So if you're successfully able to get all those things in place, then uh, congratulations. It will be a fantastic event. Obviously the sponsors will be very happy because all their signage is in place and it gets good coverage with the photographers as well as the media being able to see that. Um, obviously photographer positions are crucial, making sure that they're positioned on the right side of the court so the sponsor backdrops are actually in the photos. And all in all, the key part is that the media can do their job. One piece of advice is also to make sure that the communication, in terms of your communication to your local media, also to your confederation, as well as to the FIVB is prompt, efficient and clear and clean. What do I mean by that? Particularly in terms of photographs, the good quality high resolution photos and the copy which is sent out is well on time. Not the day after but as soon as the event is completed you have some quotes, the piece is written and distributed particularly to the local media. This is where the turnaround happens very, very quickly, and they obviously eat up any news and photos which you're able to supply to them. Videos obviously nowadays are becoming more and more important, as you've seen by this production. It's the way forward, it's an easy way to, to communicate, particularly with press conferences. Just set up an easy video camera, record the press conference, put it online, and everybody has access to it. Gone are the days, or less and less so, where you're having to transcribe the uh, press conference, write it down and distribute. Now you can do it with a video and everybody can see for themselves. With all those little tips around the press operations, we hope you enjoy organising your event and in particular working with the media and helping them do your job. And we wish you all the best with your tournament, wherever it's held around the world.